Hey guys, this is Dr. Collins again. So today we're going to talk about the second habit of the seven habits of highly effective people. The second habit is to begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. That means decide on your goals, then go back from your goals and start figuring out what I need to do today, tomorrow, the next day, so forth and so on to reach the goal that I've set for myself. Because simply saying I want to do something gets you nowhere. It's the plan that matters. A friend and mentor of mine, Mike Spradlin, said it like this. You have to decide what goals you want to achieve in life and anything, and then anything else that will keep you from reaching that goal, eliminate it. Don't let it be around you. Because the question is not, can you reach a goal? The question is, will you set a goal? Have you set a goal? If you have, that's good. Decision making is good, but that's not the end. See, decision making is good, but decision managing is more important. It's more important to manage your goal than to simply make your goal. One more thing. Every goal has two beginnings. One is mental. The other is physical. The mental goal is when you decide on a goal and think of the plan. The physical beginning is when you actually start working out that plan. Now, remember, when you start working out that plan day by day, it's important because this thing we call success, there are no elevators, escalators, or hot air balloons to success. Success is built day by day. I have to do something today that's going to help me reach my goal tomorrow. And as I keep stacking on good days, good months, and good years, I reach my goal. One more thing. As you start going towards a goal, beginning with the end in mind, those negative mental mirrors that we talked about yesterday, they're going to try to discourage you from reaching your goal. Now, in this sense, when I say negative, I don't mean bad. I mean unsupported. If there's something or somebody that doesn't support your goal, or if you're doing something that doesn't support your goal, it's not bad. It's just unsupportive. I want to encourage you to decide on your work on your goal. Plan your work, then work your plan. Stay away from the negativity and move toward support.